everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am back with another set guide and review. We have our first high end set of the baseball card season. 2022 Tops Inception is coming out tomorrow. It's a high end set, but it's also kind of affordable. The question we got to ask is how good is it really? Is it worth the price tag? And if we're getting into breaks, who should we be targeting? Well, we're going to find out in this one cent sports cards 2022 tops inception set guide and review so with the baseball season just a little over a week away tops gives us our first high-end set of the collecting season. It is 2022 Tops Inception. And in this set guide and review, what we're trying to do is figure out how good Tops Inception really is. And we do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating. Here's what we'll cover off on today. First, we're going to start at a really high level, just tell you what the set highlights of Tops Inception are. Then we'll go into the different buying formats we can get it in. I'll tell you what key cards we're going to be chasing out of there. We'll cover off on the parallels, the relics, very heavy relic focus set, the autos, and then I'll even tell you which teams I think you should be targeting in breaks. I'm going to give you six of them. Two of them will be sleepers. Who's got the most autos? Who's got the most rookies? I'll let you know all that. And then I'll even give you a break team cheat sheet to tell you how good all 30 teams are when you're buying into breaks. And that is what will bring us to our one cent sensational set ranking where we'll find out how good Topps Inception really is. Then we'll compare Topps Inception to all of the sets that have been released so far in this card collecting season. So without further ado, let me give you one more thing before we begin. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It is the best way you can support the channel. And if you like these set reviews, hit subscribe so you can watch all of them. If you want to be the first to watch them, you got to hit the bell notification so you are notified as soon as the videos go live. And if you haven't checked it out already, be sure to check out my Patreon page. Over there, you can get access to all of my breaks, access to my Discord community. You can get all sorts of monthly packs and break credits and more. There's a link in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So it's time to dig in. 2022 Tops Inception. Here's the set highlights. First thing you need to know about it, it is a modern card set that is focused on rookies and emerging stars. So a lot of young players in the set. It is a 100 card base set checklist and it is in its sixth year of production started back in 2017. It is a very modern card design. You saw that in the intro to the video. It uses a much thicker card stock and then there's artistic color splashes all throughout the set. This year's Parallel Rainbow, just like last year, has seven colors for the base set. There is a heavy focus on the rookies. We're going to find 21 different rookies in the 100 card base set, but there's an additional 57 rookies in the base rookie and emerging stars auto checklist that kind of serves as a supplement to the base set checklist. It is a hobby only release, so you're not going to find this at your targets in your Walmarts. In every box, you will find one auto or auto relic and two parallels. That's what's going to be guaranteed. Auto relics are heavily featured throughout this set. Always has been kind of a calling card of Topps Inception. There's things like socks, hats, batting gloves. There's jersey letters, laundry tags. They've got all sorts of cool relics that are available in Inception. Silver signings return, and then we've also got autographed jumbo patches and jumbo hat patches, and those cards serve as case hits that you can find in cases of Topps Inception. One other thing to note, many of the relics are player worn jerseys, not necessarily game worn jerseys, and that has become a more common thing. You can like it, you cannot like it, but the reality is not every one of these relics is a game worn relic. So you got to be real careful with this set. Finally, no inserts are found in Topps Inception. So if you're looking for inserts, you got to look elsewhere. This is not an insert driven set. 
So what are the different buying formats we can get this in? Well, like I said, it's only available in hobby. So we can get a hobby case that's going to have 16 boxes per case, one pack per box, seven cards per pack. That'll get you 112 total cards. And the current online price is hovering around $3,000. So your cost per card is really high. It's a $26.79 cost per card. But you are guaranteed to get 16 total autos. And in each case, they guarantee four Inception auto patches, one Inception silver signings auto, and either an auto jumbo patch or an auto jumbo hat patch. You are also guaranteed to get 32 different parallels. If you get a hobby box, that's going to be one pack per box, seven cards per pack, so seven total cards. $190 is the current online price for those, and the cost per card is $27.14, guaranteed to get one auto or relic and two parallels. So the key cards we're chasing in 2022 Tops Inception. Let's start with the rookies. First, we have Josiah Gray, Luis Gill of the Yankees, of course, the big one, Wander Franco. We have Matt Manning, O'Neill Cruz, who was not available in Series 1, but we do find him here in Inception. That's going to be a big card. We've got Gavin Sheets, Shane Baz, also not available in Series 1. We have Vidal Brujan, Reed Detmers, Jaron Duran, Brandon Marsh, Jackson Cower, and Matt Veerling. For our parallels, autos, and auto relics, here's what we're really going to be chasing. So we have the base rookie and emerging stars autos. That kind of serves as a subset to the base set, but they are all autoed. Tons of rookies available in that. Tons of second year, third year players. We also have the game day gear auto relic book cards. Very hard to hit, but very cool cards if you can get them. The laundry tag book cards. Again, another book card available in Inception. Then we have the MLB silhouetted batter logo book cards. They're all one of ones, beautiful cards right there if you can hit one. We have the team logo book cards, and then we also have those jumbo patch and jumbo hat patch cards. Those are considered case hits. And the Dawn of Greatness autos return. They had those last year. That takes a veteran and shows them in their rookie uniform so like i have a miguel cabrera one from last year that shows him in his miami marlins uniform and they are all autoed and numbered we have the dual auto relic book cards and the silver signings very popular autograph that you can get in inception they return again this year they are considered a case hit we also have short print inception autos which feature some of the bigger names that you'll find in the mlb today so what are our parallels like i said it is a smaller rainbow it is a seven color rainbow we have the green which you'll find probably one of those in almost every box we have the purple to 150 the magenta to 99 you can see what that looks like with the mookie bets card on the left we have the red to 75, the orange to 50, the blue to 25, and the Inception one of one. For our autographs, not that many different autographs because we're going to focus a lot on relics, but there are a few auto only ones. The first, obviously, going to be that base rookie and emerging star set. 83 cards in that auto checklist. The parallels, you got the green, magenta, red, orange, blue, and the Inception one of one. The Dawn of Greatness autos, 10 cards in that subset, each numbered to 20, with the parallel breakdown of Orange, Blue, and Inception, one of one. We also have the Silver Signings, awesome cards here. Not too much of a tough pull, but they are case hits. 40 cards, and you can get the Gold Ink parallel and the Gold Ink Inception, one of one. Finally, we have those Short Print Inception autos, going to be eight cards in that auto checklist, and they're each numbered to 10. Now for our autographed relics. First, we have the Game Day Gear Auto Relic Book Cards, seven cards in that checklist, each numbered to five with a one of one parallel. We have the Inception Autographed Batting Glove Autos, nine cards in that checklist, each numbered to 25 or less, and you can get a logo or strap. Each of those are going to be one of ones. Then you have the Inception Autograph Game Socks. That's what you see over there on the right with the Beau Bichette Auto Relic. 22 cards in that checklist, 
each numbered to three with a parallel inception one of one. Then we have the autograph laundry tag books, 14 cards in that checklist, each numbered one of one. Then we also have Inception autographed MLB silhouetted batter logo patch book cards. Say that three times fast. 14 cards in that, and they're all one of ones. And there's even more autographed relics. We have the Inception autograph letter book. That's going to feature a letter from the jersey. 18 cards in that checklist, each numbered to two. We have the Inception autograph jumbo hat patch. 29 cards, each numbered to five. And we can get the MLB logo version, the new era version, or the team logo. So even though they're numbered to five, technically there's 15 of each card. We have the Inception Autograph Jumbo Patch. That's got 32 cards in the checklist and a red, orange, blue, and Inception team logo, one of one. We also have the Inception Autograph Patch, 57 cards in that checklist. Pretty easy to pull out of these boxes. We do have a significant parallel rainbow we've got green magenta red orange blue button number to six that's what the wander franco card over to the right is and the inception manufacturer logo one of one finally we have the inception dual auto relic book six cards in that checklist each number to three with a parallel one of one so a fairly straightforward set here and the question becomes which teams should we be targeting in breaks? I'm going to give you six. We're going to give you the best overall team. I'll tell you who's got the most rookies, the most autos, what a nice solid choice would be, and a couple sleepers. So let's start with the best team. That, far and away, going to be the Tampa Bay Rays. They've got six base cards, three rookie cards, eight autos, and an astounding 27 auto relics. There are 13 different Wander autographs we can pull out of here. Plus, you've got Bruhan autos all over the place. Just a completely stacked team. They will, without a doubt, be the most expensive team you can buy into in case breaks and pick your team breaks. And if you get them in a random team break, you have hit the jackpot. Because if you get one of those Wanders, obviously going to hold a lot of value. Plus, you've got... Nice six base cards, three different rookie cards, tons of different autos you can get out of here. By far and away, it's not even close. Tampa Bay Rays are the best team, and I would assume they're going to cost at least double whatever the second most expensive team is going to cost you. They will be expensive. If you're looking for the most autos, technically you got to look at the Tampa Bay Rays. They've got the most autos, but... We've already talked about the Tampa Bay Rays. So the second most autos, that's going to be the Chicago White Sox. They also have six base cards, two rookie cards, nine different autos, and 22 auto relics. The autos you're going to be looking for out of there, Luis Robert, Gavin Sheets, Jake Berger, uh, Eloy Jimenez. They've got a very nice auto checklist, and there's all sorts of different relics and stuff that you can pull for the Chicago White Sox. Going to be an expensive team to buy. You will probably find they're the second, maybe third most expensive team. But again, there's a lot that the Chicago White Sox offer in a pick your team, especially in a case break. If you hit them in a random team, you do not want to trade them under any circumstances unless someone's willing to give up the Tampa Bay Rays. If you're looking for the most rookie cards, well, you've got to go look at the Tampa Bay Rays again. That's how good the Tampa Bay Rays are in this set. However, we've already covered off on the Tampa Bay Rays. So let's look at the Philadelphia Phillies. They've got two rookie cards. Again, six base cards, seven autos, and nine auto relics. The people we'll be looking for out of there. We've got Matt Veerling, Luke Williams, and Alec Bohm autos. Veerling and Williams, obviously, two rookie cards. They've got plenty of stuff that you can pull out of there. Probably not going to be the most expensive team, but I think it's actually a very nice team to target if you're looking for some rookies and with an outside shot and a case break at getting an auto or two, you're probably going to end up with a rookie auto or rookie patch auto, which is awesome. Alec Bohm's also in there. I think he's due for a bounce back year this year. So a pretty decent auto checklist and some, some names that are on that checklist probably will be somewhere in the middle of the pack when it comes to how expensive they are. But I think if you get them in a random team break, it's probably something you want to hold on to 
If you can trade for him, that's fantastic. Almost a little bit of a sleeper here, but we're going to give you two other ones. If you're looking for a solid choice, look at the Angels. The Angels are stacked in 2022 because of their rookies, plus the auto checklist. They've got five base, two rookie cards, six autos, and nine auto relics. The autos in here are fantastic. I believe the Angels will be one of the top three most expensive teams in a pick-your-team break. You've got Shohei Otani autos, Mike Trout autos. We've got Brandon Marsh, Reed Detmer autos for the rookies, and there are plenty of them to go around, and it is just a solid, solid team. You've got the rookies, you've got the major league superstars, and some very low-numbered hits if you can get them in a case break. If you hit them in a random team, hold them. You probably won't be able to trade for him in a random team break. In a pick your team break, you're going to have to pony up some cash, but you've got an outside shot. It's some Otani, Trout, and Angels rookie autos, which is always a big plus. So what are the sleepers? My first sleeper, going to be the Miami Marlins. Now, they've only got two base cards, so you're not looking for base cards with the Miami Marlins. However, they do have a surprising amount of autos. They've got six autos and 11 auto relics. And a lot of these are going to be rookie or second year players. So like Brian De La Cruz is in there, Jazz Chisholm. Uh, we've got uh, Sixto Sanchez, all sorts of different names that we can pull out of there. A lot of the young players that the Marlins have been grooming for the last couple years are going to be found in this set. And I think you could probably get these uh, Marlins for middle of the road pricing it might be a great team to steal in a random team break if you could trade for the marlins give someone their favorite team you get the marlins and you got a pretty good shot at pulling an auto in a box break or a case break something like that and a and i think the marlins are going to provide pretty consistent value especially at the case break level my second sleeper going to be the texas rangers they've got two base cards only one of them is a rookie card but again, just like the Marlins, they've got a ton of autos and auto relics. They've got 10 different autos and 12 different auto relics. That's actually one of the higher teams for autos out of all of the team checklists. You've got Yoni Hernandez, Curtis Terry, Adolis Garcia, Joe Barlow autos in there. So some second year names. And we've also got a few rookies that aren't found in the base set checklist. So auto only rookies that you find with the Rangers. And again, it's going to be a middle of the road team, maybe a little bit above the middle of the road, easy team to trade for in a uh, random team break. And in a pick your team break, if you can get it at the right price, if you can get it kind of in the middle of the road pricing that you would find in a pick your team, definitely one that I would target. Here's another thing that I might say about the Rangers. In a lot of those where you buy two spots and you get to pick one and then the other one gets randomized, don't be afraid to pick the Rangers with your pick. I think they're definitely probably top seven team. So if you're doing a pick your team plus a random team, don't be afraid to take the Rangers. So we've got the Marlins, we've got the Rangers as our sleepers, but the question then becomes, what about all the other teams? Well, I'm going to tear them off into three different categories. I'm going to tell you all 30 teams, just take a screenshot of this page when, we're, when we've worked all the way through it. And this will tell you the teams that are awesome at the top tier, kind of your middle of the road teams that I think you're doing okay if you get them. And then some teams that you probably want to stay away from in that lower tier. So for our top tier, Tampa Bay, far and away, they are awesome in 2022 and they are particularly awesome in this set. The White Sox, like I said, also loaded, also with the Angels. The Boston Red Sox, also a very good team. They've got 19 different autos you can pull out of there. The Phillies, we've got the Phillies coming in with 16 different autos, and they've got six base cards, a lot to like there. Seattle, Texas, and Washington, which earlier in the season in series one were kind of some teams that were down at the bottom in the lower tier but for this set in particular i've got them in the top tier seattle surprisingly has 20 different 
autos and auto relics that you can get. And the Rangers have 22. That's why I picked them as my sleeper. Then we have the Washington Nationals. And although the Nationals do have 20 autos, the thing to look for at the Nationals, if you're a Juan Soto fan, there are a ton of different Juan Soto autos. So that auto checklist that you've got for the Nationals is stacked. And the Nationals make my top tier, even though they've been at the bottom tier in almost every other set review. For our middle of the road teams, I've got the Pittsburgh Pirates in here. And the Pirates don't have a lot. They've got three base cards, three autos, and two relics, which normally would put them at the bottom. But O'Neill Cruz is in here. So if you're chasing O'Neill Cruz rookie cards, the Pirates probably going to come kind of cheap because there's not a lot that the Pirates are offering outside of O'Neill Cruz. If you can get them and that's who you're looking for, you've got a decent shot at an auto. If you get the Pirates auto, it's going to be O'Neill Cruz. So definitely look at the Pirates. The Diamondbacks come up a little bit. They've got nine different autos in here. The Braves, who are also in this, they shoot down from the top tier for the first time this season. The Braves, they've got, I think it's like 13 different autos in here, and they do have five base cards, so probably one of the better second tier teams. But again, they don't have Ronald Acuna Jr. autos in this set for whatever reason. So you might want to look out for that. Go look at the auto checklist. It's not the strongest for the Braves. That's why I bumped them down. The Marlins, also a little bit of a surprise here. That's why I have them as a sleeper. I mean, they've got the 17 different autos. They've moved up from the third tier. And I think the Marlins offer some great value kind of in the middle of the road. You can see the other teams here. And then we have our third tier, which are teams I would recommend to stay away from simply because they do not have a lot to offer in this set, either from base cards and the auto checklists are really small. Like, for example, the Indians who have been down here for most of the season. Actually, I shouldn't say the Indians, the Guardians. I'm still working on that. Um, they've only got one base card and they've got four total autos. Just not a lot going there. The Rockies, kind of the same thing. We're talking four autos, one base card. Surprisingly, the Dodgers make it down here. The Dodgers have been a middle of the road team most of the season, but the Dodgers, although they do have five base cards, they're only offering four total autos. And Walker Bueller is probably the best auto you can pull out of there. So the Dodgers don't overpay for them. They are not a very good team in this set. And then the Bay Area teams, the A's and the Giants, again, just not a lot going there. Oakland's only got two autos, and the Giants only have one. So stay away from the Bay Area teams as well. So go ahead, screenshot this. Let me know what you think about the break team cheat sheet, and let me know if you think I've got these right. If you would bump some teams up or bump them down, I comment on. I reply to most of the comments worth replying to in the videos. So take your screenshot now and go buy into some breaks. Now we're going to get into the sensational set rating. So here's what that is. First of all, it's the most in-depth rating system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. No one's doing what I'm doing. There are 10 different categories that we're going to break Tops Inception down into, and each category is worth 1 to 10 points. Then what we do is we add up all of those points to get our final one-cent sensational set ranking score. We use the scale below to figure out how good the set really is. And then what we'll do is we'll compare the 2022 set with the scores that Topps Inception had in 2021 and 2020. Then we compare 2022 Topps Inception to all of the other sets that have been released so far this year to see where it ranks amongst its peers this year. So let's get into it. Like I said, we have 10 different categories. Our first category is appeal. How appealing is this to the hobby? I've got it at a 6.5. Here's why. It kind of fits in a weird area. It is an affordable, the boxes are less than 200 bucks, high-end set, which appeals to a lot of people. However, it's not really high-end enough to appeal to that big-time investor group. Also, you only get seven cards. So the people that are a little bit more budget conscious, it's still kind of expensive. However, there are some big names in this. So I think it's got some appeal. The fact that it very much targets rookies and it targets young emerging stars, I think really helps it. So I give it a 6.5. 
For the base set checklist, I'm going to go ahead and give it a six. There are some names missing out of here. There are some good rookie names that weren't in series one that are in here. O'Neill Cruz, probably the biggest name out of those. However, because it's only a hundred cards, it is missing a lot of names that you might find in a flagship set. For the auto checklist, some key names missing. Ronald Acuna Jr. being one of them. However, if you're chasing big young rookies and if you're chasing emerging stars, say Fernando Tatis, Juan Soto, I wouldn't even call them emerging at this point, but there are some big names. There are Mike Trout's in here. A little bit of filler with some of the rookie ones, but overall a very strong auto checklist, especially for young talent. So I give it an eight. For our inserts, parallels, variations category. Well, we don't have any inserts. We do have a seven color rainbow. There are no variations, but we do have relics all over the place. So I go ahead and give it a six. I struggled a little bit, wanted to give it a seven, but again, there are no variations. The parallel rainbow kind of smaller. There's, you know, there's no inserts. I think the relics kind of buy you this a little bit. So I go ahead and give it a six. For the pack run and production odds, production is going to be up this year. However, you're still getting your two parallels and you're still getting your auto per box. So that's good there. It is printed more than your premium, premium high end sets, but printed a lot less than your flagship. So I'm going to call it middle of the road. Go ahead and give it a five for our card quality. 8.5. These cards are beautiful. Some of the best patch autos that you can get are going to be from Topps Inception. They are beautiful, very thick card stock and the autos are nice. A lot of on-card autos as well. The historical value, which is our next category, I went ahead and gave it a six. It does not rank up there with some of the premium high-end sets, obviously. However, you can pull some bangers out of here. There are multiple cards that have sold recently on eBay that are well north of four figure, some even into five figure that you can get out of Inception. However, some of the lower end autos aren't going to fetch maybe even as much as a flagship auto because they're not as hard to pull as the flagship one. So I go ahead and give it a six. For our cost value, I give it a five. So this is, you know, what are we getting back from each box? There will be some duds and there will be some bangers. The good news, one out of four boxes in a case, there's 16 boxes in a case, one out of four boxes is going to have a case hit. So you, when you take that into account, those silver signing autos, they hold a ton. Not every box is going to be equal. That's the thing you need to take away from here. So I go ahead and give it a five. For artistic value, this is one of top sets that really pushes the envelope on what a modern card can look like. They incorporate the patches very nicely. They incorporate all sorts of different patches from laundry tags to hats to socks, batting gloves, and a exceptional card design, very artistic. So I go ahead and give it an eight. For collectability, which is how desirable is it for collectors versus investors? We spend so much talking about how much time cards are worth, but how collectible is it if you just want to keep it in your collection? I claim it's a seven because Again, these patches are gorgeous. You can get at a fairly affordable price if you're looking at singles. You can get those players that you're really chasing. If you're looking for your favorite rookie on your favorite team, if you're looking for you know that bigger star, this is a set that really sets itself apart from the premium high-end stuff that might cost you four to five figures. It really is something that on some of these rookies, you can get them for 20, 30 bucks, sometimes even less, maybe a little bit more. But if you're chasing certain cards and certain players and they're in this set, you can get a real nice card, makes a very nice piece for the collection. And I think overall, especially if you're hunting singles, that this is not a bad set to really be looking at if you are a collector. Investors, a little bit more of a gamble there, but from a collectability standpoint, I go ahead and give it a seven. So that is what brings us to our one cent sensational set rating where we're gonna find out how good Topps Inception really is. And for 2022, Topps Inception ranks as a 66 on the one cent sensational set rating scale, which makes it a very good set. Not sensational, but overall a very solid set, a very good set, tons of rookie autos, tons of big name autos, 
fun card design. Although it's more expensive and there is a high cost per card, the total buy-in if you get yourself a box is still below $200. So it hits that sweet point for those collectors that are trying to up their game a little bit from more of the flagship and budget-friendly sets up into a more premium set. This is a great entry level set into that premium market that gets you introduced to it and you can get some huge cards. So it's a very good set. I go ahead and give it a 66. In 2021, Topps Inception ranked a little bit better. It was a 70. So it has come down a little bit. A lot of that has to do with auto checklist. And I was maybe a little generous last year with the score. But overall, the difference between 66 and 70 is not too much. In 2020, Topps Inception actually rated a little bit lower. It was a 62. But one thing to take away from this, for the last three years, Topps Inception has been a very good set. It's going to offer a lot to a lot of different people. It's going to offer a lot of different autos and some fun cards to add to the collection and also some fun cards that you might be able to invest in. It has never been an average set. It's a little bit above average. We're going to call it very good. So where does 2022 Topps Inception rank to date amongst all of the other sets that have come out this season? Well, it is our top rank set. Now we've only had four, but it did beat out top series one by one point. So it is a very good set right now. It is first out of four. We only have tops sets on here. Panini is coming out with Don Russ here in a couple weeks. So we'll, we'll see where Don Russ lies on this scale, but we have two very good sets already for 2022 top series one and tops inception heritage barely missed the mark more of an average set opening day that is rated as a poor set however if you are a budget-minded collector there's a lot that tops opening day can offer for you so you guys as you're out there in the wild at your lcs i hope that you can get a box of tops inception or buy into a break and i hope that when you do you pull some monsters out of the set it is a fun rip for sure and comment below. Let me know what you think about Topps Inception. Are you buying into it? Are you passing? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Like I said, I try and comment on most of the comments that are worth commenting on. So let me know and be sure to throw over to first, hit that like button for me if you like these set reviews and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I hope that you guys are having great luck on your personal pack polls. And as always, take care of your family. Take care of your friends, take care of your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Thanks for watching.